Welcome. Welcome. Tarianne Hyman here. This is my live video stream for the Empowered Spirit Show, where we look at the cosmos, we see what's going on, we center our energy energetically, and we look to some cards for guidance. So what is going on this week? There's a lot. We start out, though, with a little bit of dark of the moon energy, right? The moon has been full. We talked about that last time. It's coming around. And now as we move through this week, we're moving into dark of the moon, into that new moon eclipse. Everybody's talking about it. All right. But we do have to get through some of that dark of the moon. Now, as we come into the holidays, that could feel a little bit of heavy energy. All right. I know all of us want to be excited in the holidays. And sometimes it can be a bit overwhelming. All right. I know for me it is as well. But really getting through that dark of the moon, reminding yourself that, Light is going to come back around. The moon will come back around. But first, we have to just kind of move through it. So the best way to do that is to be calm, be still, drop into the heart. All right? Many of us will have family to go to and people to visit. And sometimes family can push buttons, and it can be a little intense. Or maybe you have memories from past years that aren't so great, and those are weighing on you too. So all of that energy is coming around. So really, being calm, being still, Getting through a lot of it as you move through Monday and Tuesday is going to be very helpful. Dropping into the heart, having compassion for yourself and others is really one of the best ways to work with all of this energy. Now, as we move into the holidays, yes, tonight's the first night of Hanukkah. Happy holidays. We have the Christmas and then we have the Kwanzaa. We have all this energy, all of this light opening up, right? The festival of lights, the candles, the trees, the lights, everything out there is coming in and shining upon us. So that will help through that dark of the moon, but we do need to get through it. And then Christmas night, depending on really where you are, the 25th into the 26th is that new moon energy. And it's got an eclipse to it. So new moons we always talk about are good for starting new intentions. But when we have this eclipse, it kind of amps up the energy, all right? Now, everything practically, I might be exaggerating, but not really, everything practically is moved into Capricorn. We have the new moon in Capricorn. We have the eclipse in Capricorn. We have about five planets, including the south node, all conjuncting and aligning into Capricorn. So that's going to be a little bit of that heaviness of energy, perhaps, a little bit of that physical earth energy. It's a very big earth sign. And so it's going to make us to do like do our work, earn our keep, be who we are, which isn't a bad thing, but it may not be as live and wild as Sagittarius energy, but it's going to be playing upon all of us. All right, as we move through. Now, we also have some energy of Jupiter, which is going to be expansion and luck. All right, so it could actually be one of the luckiest new moon eclipses around. All right, that's a good way to look at it. Or we could have Uranus, and we also have Uranus energy, which is expansion. So if you do your work, if you calm down, if you clear out the excess energy and not get caught in that dark of the moon energy, then you can find that you can put your intentions out there for expansion, for luck, for possibilities. All of this energy is coming forward. We've talked about it. We've been hinting about it. And now it's actually starting to come forward, especially as we move out of this year, out of the decade, and into a new year. So there is lots of energy around the eclipse. The eclipses are interesting because the sun and the moon kind of align, right? Now, being that this is basically a partial eclipse, it's going to still align, but you're going to have the ability to see that sun is going to break through and around. So what aren't you seeing? What can be moved around or switched or shifted for yourself that you can look at in a different light? All right, so all of that energy is going to come up as we move through this week. Not like the holidays isn't enough, right? All the running around tomorrow will be crazy out there, so be careful. And really just really kind of take it easy. Take some deep breaths. Make sure you spend some time joining your energy with your spirit because that's the greatest thing you can do. All right. A lot of people are also talking about as we move through this eclipse and all of this energy in Capricorn, we're actually shifting out of old energy. We're shifting out of old soul contracts. So what can you do to recognize what were those contracts you made? Tear them up, be done, burn them away. All right. All of that energy is what we want to do. All right. Being today is the solstice. All right. It came in yesterday. We've still got the energy. So yes, happy solstice as well. It is a time to celebrate to bring that light back and to release what is no longer working, all right? Very big that we do that. We don't wanna just keep going into the seasons with all of the energies on our back, so to speak. We wanna make sure that we do take the time, burn some of it away, let some of it go, move it out, all right? Especially because, too, we're coming to the end of a decade. 
All right, that's a lot of big energy. So if you can align yourself this week and set those intentions on the new moon, you're gonna be better off for moving out of this year and into the next, all right? Now I'm gonna be offering, next week I'm gonna be offering a clearing for the end of the decade, energetically looking at the decade, moving through and clearing and cutting the cord so that you can do that as you move into the new year. So really important that you do take some time Get out your journals, right? Very important. I've been journaling myself and writing down some of these things that you need to work on. Now, when we come into the new moon, you don't always have to like start something brand new or grandiose, so you don't have to, but you can also refresh and continue what you're doing if it's working for you, but you have to decide that. You have to decide where it is. If it's not working, you just kind of keep pushing and pushing and pushing, especially if it feels like you're going against the grain, that's what you want to let go. But if you have some new ideas that are feeding into what you've been doing, that's also where you want to go as well. All right. So always, as we know, the new moon is good for setting intentions with the energy of the eclipse coming in. It really opens it up. It really shakes it. I always like to say eclipses, you never know what's going to happen. All right. They're saying this one's about three hours long. One of the luckiest ones, again, that Jupiter and Pluto energy and the Uranus energy is all opening up and all of this shifting into Capricorn. And again, Capricorn is an earth energy. So it will help you to ground. It's going to help you to also be very methodical. Do your to-do list, go through, get your new calendar, set yourself up so that when the new year comes around, you feel more centered and more aligned with what it is your path is talking about. So be aware as you move through this week, again, starting Monday and Tuesday, a little dark of the moon, all right? We already got the dark days, right? Although the lights are turning, we don't really see it right away, all right? We have that energy coming in, and then the new moon comes in Christmas night into the next day, 25th into the 26th, depending on where you are. So do take some time to write out your intentions so that you can move it right through because then the next thing we'll come back and talk about is the new year, right? Lots going on, a lot of this shifting of energy that we haven't seen in a long, long time. Things are going to be breaking up, all right? The old system is going to go away. Yay, I'm actually kind of glad about that because we know this. We can't keep going along. We're already starting to see it in the political arena. We're going to start to see it in our corporations. We're going to start to see it in our banking. We're going to start to see it in our pharmacy the big farm and all of that energy, we have to break up what's not working, all right? The youth is coming forward and that's a good thing and we have to support what is working. So all of us that are doing this light work, all of us that are doing this meditations, that are working with the vibrations of Reiki, of healing, of crystals, of vibration, that's what we wanna rise up. And know that you're a part of this. Know that the work you do isn't self-serving, it's helping everybody around, all right? So really important to do your work and to know that this energy is shifting. Consciousness is changing. All this portal of energy we talked about from 1212 till now, 1221. I guess that was really kind of yesterday. But still, all of that vibration is coming in. Consciousness is shifting. So use the opportunity to align your spirit, to raise up the vibration, find those elevated emotions. We've talked about this. Find that peace and the joy and the love of what it is you want to embody for yourself and help to raise that vibration for everyone, all right? It's gonna be a busy week. It's gonna be a very powerful shifting of energy as well. So be prepared, be ready. The best to do is to drop into the heart, have compassion, let that be your guide. Don't get caught in the mind, don't get caught in the emotions, but just drop into the heart and let that open up for you, for all those around you. Reach out, help others, serve, you know, really, it's that time of year that we do all these many things to go beyond our own comfort zone and help others as well. All right, so let's just take a moment and clear our energy. Take a nice deep inhale if you can. Let's do a few rounds of breathings of 10. 10 is all about closure. All right, so we're going to take a nice deep inhale and exhale away. We'll just do a quick count of Inhaling, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Exhale down, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So just continue, count to yourself, and then we'll center and call in. So just to clear the energy, inhale, hold, exhale. Hold, inhale, hold, exhale, 
hold. Just let the breath continue. As we begin to call in our masters, our teachers, the archangels, call in your spirit guides. Feel that alignment coming in as you start to bring your energy in, calling it back from the weekend, pulling it in. Feel the spiritual body coming in right on top of the physical body, shoulders and shoulders, hips and hips, feet and feet. Feel the alignment coming in for you, pulling your energy in, settling down, calling in your higher self. And just feel those intentions coming in for you as we begin this week, as we get into that holiday season. All the holidays are kind of lining up this year. Setting that intention right into that third eye center, allowing yourself to open up. Embody that energy for you. How will you feel? What is that elevated emotion? Peace, love, prosperity, joy. What is it for you? And let the embodied energy, let those emotions begin to radiate out. Filling up your auric field. Let that energy and vibration lift your vibration up a little bit more. Everything else falls away. Inhaling. And exhaling. And just let the energy move out through the auric field. Feel yourself centering for the week ahead, dropping into the heart. Feel those embodied energies, those emotions, let them radiate out. Feeling yourself grounding and slowing down, preparing yourself for the week ahead, for all the shifts, for all the things going on. What are your wishes? What are your dreams? What is it that you can ask for as that new moon comes in? Inhaling and exhaling. Feel that alignment pulling in. Feel your feet flat on the floor. Connecting with Mother Earth, our beautiful Mother Earth. Bringing the energy in. Bringing your awareness back. Inhaling. And exhaling, coming back, feeling how centered you are now. As we open up and look to the cards for guidance, using the wild unknown. So the first card, which is a card for all of us, which is great in alignment with this eclipse energy, is the nine of cups. So nines are about like completion, but something else is coming in. This, this cups here is about like all that emotional energy. Things are good. This is a wish card. This is also like gratitude for all the things that you have. And it's okay to desire more, even if you feel like you have a lot. Even if you feel like you have a lot of that heart-centered love and emotions and things are working out. So this is about more coming in. So what is it you wish? Many times they call this the wish card, which is perfect alignment for what we were talking about with that, that energy of Pluto and Uranus with the, with the eclipse energy. So what is it? If you could answer that question now, what would it be? All right, a great thing to think about the next couple of days. All right, so that's for all of us, so make a big wish. So if you chose card number one, and maybe you have trouble looking at that and understanding how, this card can help you. This is our hanged man, all right? And this is the idea of looking at life with a different perspective. Hang upside down, all right? And also in this case, with this card, Kim, from the Wild Unknown, she does it with the bat. All right, and so the bat has that inner knowing. It has a different radar. Look at the eyes. So where can you like tune in, hang upside down? It's also about like, you know, coming in and having patience for yourself so that you can open back out. So as you move through these next couple of days, pull in, notice what's going on. Use your other senses to understand so that you can make those wishes, set those new intentions and set your energy out there to end one decade and start another. All right, the second card is the Son of Cups. All right, so this card, again, Cups, Hearts, all right, that's also about really looking deeper at the emotions that you have, going in, looking at the reflection. We have this cup here. We have the colors coming out of the cup. So this is a little bit more about going deeper into those emotions, diving in and feeling those feelings. All too often, we want to push them away, cover them up, numb them out. But as you move through, especially the next three days, Go into the darkness, all right? That's our vulnerable parts, and that's okay. That's how you're going to shine your light, and that's how you're going to learn your lessons, all right? 
good card for all of us so that we don't feel so isolated and don't stuff them down. Really important. All right, and then I love this card. The third card, again, cups, three of cups. And this is about celebrating, all right? This is a great card to get together with those that you really love and celebrate your accomplishments. Celebrate this year. So whether it's around the Christmas or the Hanukkah or the New Year, celebrate what it is you've been doing. And that's going to help you really appreciate this card, which is all the gratitude and the wishing. When we honor our work and our accomplishments, we can build that confidence for who we are. All right, so really the cards are all about the heart energy, opening up the wish card, appreciating what you have, and having the patience with your life, all right, and looking at it from a different perspective. Really great cards. It's really a great energy week ahead of us. Just have to get through those first few days of Dark of the Moon. All right, so take a deep breath. See many more have joined us here. Let me know how this resonates with you. Let me know how you're feeling as you're moving into the holidays. I'm kind of shutting down over this next week. I had so many great events. Oh my gosh, we had a great winter solstice. And we also had a great um, light body working with the sound bowls and light too. So we had so many things going on and, and a full moon over at Beacon. I am going to be doing a vision boarding right at the beginning of the year of 1-1, one, one, January 11th over at Beacon. We're going to be making vision boards. If you've never done it, it's a great way to physically start to manifest what you want to see. So check it out. The girls at Beacon are just awesome, so come join us over there. All right, my podcast this past week dropped Saturday. What a great interview with Helene Sacido. She has this great new book and handout, a uh, book and kit for looking at the markings on your hand. You can print your hand. She gives you the sheets to go through. Really great gift, really great way to go into self-reflection for yourself or for others. It was really a great interview. I got so many comments right off the bat, so check that out as well. All right, let me know if you want a card. Let me know how we're doing out there. I'm over here on both. Give you a minute to catch up. All right, let's see what's going on. Yeah, that was a great event yesterday over at practice. We did a labyrinth indoor, and Millie was just so great. All the art and all the things to think about. All right, anybody want a card? All right, Millie, jumping in right away. Alex, you've been seeing so many ones and 11s. Good. That's a good alignment. All right. And Mara card for you. All right, Millie, this is you. And then we'll go to Mare. All right. So Millie is the mother of pentacles. So this is a good card to remind yourself to take care of you, nurture yourself, ground with the earth. Pentacles is our earth. We've got all that Capricorn energy, which is all about the earth too. So make sure that you ground your energy. All right. Make sure that you sit on the earth, do the things that are good for you. When you take care of you, everything else falls into place, all right? Whether it's children or friends or relationships or family, taking care of you is first and foremost. This gives you that permission, okay? Really important. All right, Mayor, happy holidays to you and your mom and your dad, your family. How's it up there in Boston? All right, let's see. All right, Mayor, this is a great card. This is the Six of Pentacles. This is a prosperous card. Things are growing. Things are doing well. So keep doing what you're doing. Keep building the energy. Keep, your, keep it positive. Keep your vibe lifted, and you're going to see lots of prosperity come forward. Make a wish, all right? Keep that vibe going. A really great card as we move through, all right? Who else? All right, Ashley. Ashley wants one, and her mom wants one. Okay, so Ashley, I'll draw one for you. Hey, Kate, how are you? All right, Ashley, the magician. This is a great card. You're doing some great work. This is all about manifesting. The magician has all of its tools. See, he's got the elements, the sword, the pentacles, the cups, the wands. He's got everything laying on the table. Look at the sun coming in. Look at the colors. Look how he's looking around like I know my path. He has that energy. You can manifest. Bring it down from the heavens. Put it into the physical world. This is a really great card and a really good one for you as well. Manifest what it is. Use your Reiki skills. Use those symbols. That will help you as well. All right? Great card. I love that card. It's the beginning of the journey. For your mom, Ashley, the mom is the tower. Uh, is the tower. All right, so the tower can be a little bit disconcerting, but this is about change. So things are going to start to change. I don't know what your mom is doing, but see the lightning bolts coming in, the fire. So be prepared for change. Eclipses can bring it up. When we know we have this card, we can better prepare for it. So don't be afraid of it, but start to realize what can I also, what can she also let go of and move through so it doesn't feel such a drastic change. But definitely change coming. Things are going to start to fall down in order to build back up. 
All right, let me know how she thinks about that. All right. All right, Millie says, thank you. Love it, Mayor. Good. All right, I'm going to come over here. Kate. Kate is asking for a card. All right, Kate. All right, Kate. Kate is the son of wands. I love this. It's just continuing on those passions and desires. So the sun is a little, um, the sun energy um, is that male energy. So being a little bit more forthright with what it is, like bring it up a little bit more. Look at the transformation. Look at the pop of color. All right. So really set those intentions. I know you drew the trust card last week. So set those intentions for what you want. Which school? Where is it? All right. And the thing about setting intentions with this, Kate, embody the energy embody the passion of what you're trying to do and that is going to lead you to where you are and that's exactly what this card is about there is transformation coming really great card for you really really good yay all right who else all right alex alex how you been here's a card for you Alex, we got the four of cups, all right, more cup energy, so that's like really coming into the heart energy. It's also about a little balancing, and it's also too about gratitude, like being really grateful for what you have. Maybe not everything's 100%, but finding those things in your life that you can be grateful for, all right, and finding that balance for you. Sometimes we tend to take things for granted, all right? Don't take anything for granted right now. The universe is listening. So where can you put that gratitude out to lift the vibration and to manifest what it is that you want to see. All right. Ashley says, thank you so much. She says her mom resonates with it. Yes, thank you. Good. Yes. Go, Kate. You can do it, woman. You can. Find the passion. Let those elevated emotions guide you. All right. That's exactly how we manifest. All right, Laura, how are you? A card, please. All right. This card is for Laura. Laura, we have the eight of wands. All right. This is also, too, a very fast, swift, swift action. Look at the lightning bolt. Look at the geometry here of the wand. So things are going to change. So again, as you move through this week, what are you wishing for? What do you want to shift? As that eclipse comes in, notice that you can have the cosmos helping you to push that through. All right? Look at the rainbow and that electric lightning. Things are going to stir up, but fast action. So be prepared, and maybe it's exactly what you're asking for at this time. All right? Let me know. I got a heart on that. All right. All right. What else? So great cards for this week, really being grateful for what we have. I know the holidays can get a little bit much for a lot of people, but remember what we light the candles for. Remember what you have the lights on your trees for. Bring light into the world. That's what we need. Be that one that helps others raise the vibration, lift up the energy. Things are going to change. Things are going to change. Let the consciousness open up for yourself. Bring it in. Take some time to slow down and to know what it is that you want, all right? Really great energy coming up. We've got some great energy as we close out the decade moving forward. I've got a podcast coming out in a week or two about that. And join me, I will be on Facebook during the week talking about this eclipse energy and helping to remind you to manifest, all right? I'm closing down a little bit, but I love being a guide here and I love being offering of this information and reminding you and encouraging you, yes, Kate, to do the things that you were designed to do. The world is a better place when you do live your purpose. So I am there for you to do that as well. All right, guys, check out the podcast. Let me know how you're feeling. Let me know how this resonates with you. Look out for a new schedule. Terry is planning it all out. And I'm very grateful for all of you for showing up, for doing the work, and being a part of raising the consciousness. Happy holidays. Light some candles. Celebrate with those that you love. Thanks again for listening. Thanks again for tuning in to your spirit. Namaste. Have a good week.